Boca Chica is one of only three islands in Biscayne National Park that have lawns or grassy areas that need to be maintained like this. The other two islands with grassy areas are Elliott Key and Adams Key. All the other islands in Biscayne National Park are maintained in their natural state so that people can see what this part of Florida looked like before sea walls and lawns and artificial terrain was put in. There are several vehicles on the island that help out with different maintenance tasks. This little vehicle could be called the garbage truck of Boca Chica. People are supposed to clean up after themselves and pack their trash out with them on their own boat and throw it away on the mainland. But not everybody does this. There are no dumpsters or trash bins on the island because there are no roads for a garbage truck to come and empty them. Although everyone is supposed to take their trash back to the mainland with them, not everybody does. So in addition to their jobs of mowing the lawns and maintaining the buildings and other improvements at the park, these guys have to pick up whatever trash is left on the island as well. And this little vehicle helps them do that job a lot more efficiently. There's lots of room on the back for bags of trash and that rack in the front can hold several trash cans if necessary. This building is from the time of the Honeywell estate. I've heard it called the carriage house at times. Um, it's where they kept the elephant. The park service has lots of solar panels on the south side roof as well as pipes connected to the gutters to collect the rain from the roof and bring it inside the building. There's one of the lawnmowers there. some vehicles stored in the building. The roof is a restoration. The original roof from the building was blown off by Hurricane Andrew and now the Park Service mostly uses this space for storage and light repairs of some of the machinery. That was the remains of a chimney there are two chimneys, one at each end of the building. This yellow lift is used to maintain the exterior of the lighthouse and the roofs of some of the other buildings. This tractor is modified to carry things that are on wood pallets. Those two big green tanks there store the water that's collected from the roof and here's a hose for the water and that box at the far end of the building stores electricity from the solar panels on the roof and converts it into a form that can be used in power tools. These porta potties are tucked away behind some trees at the moment. They're on pallets and can be moved to the other part of the island if the bathrooms have to be closed. Now we get to how all of these vehicles get to the island. Look at the unusual shape of the bow of this boat. Those things at the bottom are actually hinges and up here at the top is a mechanism for opening and closing the front of the boat. There's a mechanism on this side and an identical mechanism on the other side. And that whole flat bow of the boat 
can be lowered down and serve as a ramp. Here's a detail of the mechanism for lowering and raising the bow as well as the pin to lock it in the up position when you're driving around using this as a boat. Most of the rest of the boat is a big flat open deck where lawn mowers and other vehicles can be parked while the boat is moving them. And most all of the boat related stuff from driving and everything else is at the back. This is the company that made it, Munson. So you can contact them if you really need to get yourself a amphibious assault boat. Real convenient for anyone living on an island though. Here's a look at the controls. Um, very utilitarian. Everything that you would need and pretty much nothing else. And a lot of people think that this is a boat ramp. There's one of these on Elliott Key and one on Boca Chica. And there are four hard points. One there, there, and on the other side, there, and there. And the lawnmower boat gets pulled up to this ramp with its bow facing the ramp. And those hard points are used to secure the boat in place before the front ramp is lowered onto this ramp. And then vehicles can be driven off the boat through this gate onto the other part of the island. The ramp can be used for other things as well. These big logs, for example, were found floating around in Biscayne Bay or just offshore. And they're a hazard to navigation. So was this big piece of a yacht that was floating around. And whenever they're found and are close to the island, they can be towed here and then pulled out using that ramp and one of the vehicles. And then they're stored here until the, enough of it accumulates that a boat comes and takes it away to the mainland. So now you know how the lawnmowers get to Boca Chica Key.